Look at this mathematics short trick. Suppose you have a big big polynomial like 21 x square minus 23 x minus 88. The coefficients are huge, right? So splitting of middle term becomes so difficult. Let's take the first number here, 21. So I'll write it here, 21 and times the last coefficient that is negative 88. Now I need two numbers which add up to negative 23 and whose product is same as this product. So let's split this as 3 times 7 and this as 8 times 11. Now if you see, we have 7 8 times is 56 and 11 3 times is 33. Now can you see a relationship between 56 and 33? It can give us 23, right? When you subtract them. So we have the middle term split factors which are, because this is negative, I'll take the bigger one as negative 56 and positive 33. And now let's change the sign. Negative 56 becomes 56 and 33 becomes negative 33 and the coefficient of x square is 21 so let's divide this by 21 and this by 21 and once you reduce it to the lowest form this becomes 8 upon 3 if you cancel the common factor 7 so 8 upon 3 is one of the roots of this quadratic equation and the other one is negative 11 upon 7 if you cancel the 3 negative 11 upon 7 so here are the roots of this quadratic equation.